Welcome back to the Texas music scene, folks. You know, the Dirty River Boys have certainly done their hometown of El Paso proud. The guys have been turning heads from day one because of their live shows. Now, this past year, the band rolled into Yellow Dog Studios in Austin to make their first full-length album, Science of Flight. For me, going in with the Science of Fly record, you know, it was kind of like a kid going into the candy shop. You know, we went to the studio and we literally had tons of instruments to work with. Not a lot of time, but a lot of instruments we could work with. Tons of percussion instruments, tons of different types of guitars. We got to experiment with those. Dave, who co-produced the record with us, was really, really good at like, kind of picking out the instruments for the certain kind of songs, you know, and letting us just take a whirl at it instead of hiring somebody to come in and spending more money on musicians to play these parts that we didn't know, you know, we just did it ourselves. And that was really fun, you know, just experimenting. One of the things is I grabbed this guitar that was strung with, with these high strings, and dropped tuned all the low strings to a G and kind of got this low drone to try to make it sound like bagpipes for Raise Some Hell and that was, right. yeah. you know, We just messed around with things like that. Talking into walkie-talkies through the resonator and bringing in rattlesnakes. Everything, all of our instruments except two, and that was pedal steel by Kim Deschamps and uh, the trumpet um, by Ephraim. Ephraim, Ephraim, yeah, Ephraim Owens. Those two tracks just, I mean, they just sound so crazy with uh, what they were able to do. I mean, stuff that on the pedal steel and on the trumpet none of us could ever do, and just brought a whole kind of different spectrum of fun we wouldn't have gotten if we would, would have, you know, tried to do it elsewhere. Pescador is an old uh, traditional Mexican song, actually, from out of Veracruz. And my dad was driving through Austin at the time we were recording the record. And uh, it's a song I used to play with him when I was younger. I was about 12, 13 years old. He dropped by the studio and ended up cutting the main vocals on it, the lead vocals. So it's a hidden track. It's an old Mexican tune called El Pescador and features my pop singing, singing the main vocals. So. The fifth honorary Dirty River Boy. <laughs> the <laughs> eldest of the Dirty River Boys. Yeah. The song Lungs, we decided to put on there. Uh, it's uh, Towns Van Zandt. And uh, he's, uh, I think, just amongst all of us, us four, this songwriting just kind of blows our mind. We just, we play actually on our live shows, we play a few Towns songs. And we always joke, like, oh, we should be a Towns Van Zandt cover band. But that one is by far, I think, the funnest one that we play. It's, it, you know, it's a folk kind of finger pick song. And we try and add like a punch to it. <laughs> Where we have gone in the last year has just, it's been a blessing and it's, it's been the work that we put in. So I think, you know, if we just keep putting in the same kind of work, same kind of attitude, and it's just playing every show, day in, day out, and you play your heart out, just be happy that you're with the brothers that you played with that night. And that's what I want, and that's what I hope for the future of this band, is that it's us four, 60 years old up on that stage playing, you know, and maybe I'm not playing the box as much, maybe we're not playing the same instruments, but it's these years that made that possible. Just to get more people to hear the music, make it spread, uh, get further and further um, from home base and just try and, you know, stay on the road, but keep playing till the next one. Yeah, we have, we have a lot of that in the near future. We've got a lot of things going on that are branching us out to doing what we do and 
riding that van like a bunch of kindergartners. <laughs> I think Wayne the Train said it best. Man, it sure beats digging ditches, <laughs> living life on the road. I'm looking for the heart you took from me. I'm looking for the heart you took from me. I've been looking in the sand in Sloan, the Rio Grande. I'm still looking for the heart you took from me.